Good morning, America. My name is David Hilton, and today we're going to be dropping the Chick-fil-A and picking up some authentic cuisine. Let's get on the road and find some flavors. Well, David, what's better than Chick-fil-A? Honestly, not a lot, but I got a place in mind. Let's go see. Correa El Guero. Located on Churro, this will show us a great display of culture and tradition within San Luis Obispo. Let's get in the car and head over. We're walking up to El Guero right now. It's about an eight minute drive, not too bad. Or you could take the bus at about 27 minutes. Let's see what we get. Ordering a burrito. Burrito. Plate. It's gonna come with rice and beans. It's a classic dish in Mexican culture, dating back to roots of the 19th century. Originated in, in Chichua, Mexico. Miners would fill tortillas with rice and beans and basically fold them up and eat them that way. And they obviously evolved into larger, larger and bigger plates as time went on. So we're gonna meet you guys at the restaurant and then uh, we'll take you through how we order and our etiquette in ordering. So number two with carne asada and then uh, rice and beans on the side. Even the smallest things in Hispanic culture, such as saying please and thank you, go the longest ways. <laughs> This restaurant, El Taqueria Guerta, represents good etiquette and processes in their presentation, style, and traditional accents of authenticity. And uh, I'll show you the food now. But, you know, there's always good entertainment in the Mexican culture, and especially while eating. Let's hope these bets hit and get on to the food. So commonly, Mexican food is served with pickled vegetables, you see it here. This is good for when it gets too spicy. You're able to suck on the vegetables, so you're, you can cover your mouth. This burrito looks very traditional in my opinion. It's got the nice grill on the top, nice cut in half and laid on top, so it looks good. Dude, Tate here. Tate, what'd you get? Yeah, uh, well, I got some tacos. <laughs> nice. There we go, good sauce. Little, you see, little you see this? This is queso. Queso, queso melted into the taco. Nice. It gives it extra flavor. Um, this right here is. This <laughs> we got a little bit of rice and beans as well. Not just rice and beans, though. It's, it's made with cheese on top. It's, ma it's mainly uh, eaten with other flour tortillas on top. So we're going to be sharing this. Probably not. Uh, Again, we get the game on. Good presentation of the restaurant, super we fancy. Just, we just decided to rent it out so we could give you guys the experience of, um, you know, eating alone with a culture. Boom! So Mexican food is, street Mexican food is commonly eaten with your hands and not uh, utensils <laughs> to show that kind of uh, authenticity of the Mexican food. So we're well, gonna dive in, <laughs> use some extra napkins and uh, show you guys how it's done. Initially, this place had really high expectations. My mom recommended it to me after they recently remodeled their store. Hands down, this was some of the best Mexican food I've had in a while. It was really good all around, very flavorful. I felt like it really stuck with that traditional taste and traditional vibe of that uh, Mexican culture that everybody tries to offer, especially with those uh, pickled vegetables and stuff like that. It was real good, and, uh, and we'll show you the after that. <laughs> Finish the plate here. Probably the best Mexican food I've had in a while. This place does it right. It's uh, it's often uh, respectful to finish everything on your plate besides the pickled vegetables because these are used for like after flavors. Very interesting with this new modern style they chose on the remodel, but I guarantee you it will bring in a ton of new customers. All right, guys. Here's my Mexican style rice. Very good. Very traditional. Great flavor, great flavor on this as well. Okay, what do we think? Great flavors all around. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would rest a man. One part of Mexican culture is busting your own plates at the restaurant. Let's take this one away. Try 
Josh. Wonderful time we live in today where we have options from Chick-fil-A and get the opportunity to experience different cultures on a wide level basis. Thank you so much, Miss Mudge, for this opportunity. And please check out Taqueria El Guerra. Thank you, guys.